so. So thank you very much for coming here, for showing interest in cultural ambassadors. Uh, I'm Gerion. Uh, it's only my third uh, CE meeting, so I'm not that familiar with everything here. But um, bear with me. I'm first, I'm going to talk about um, cultural ambassadors, how to enable Wikipedians to be very not knowledgeable in the GLAM world and to be a link between institutions and the community. And uh, I have to confess, a friend of mine um, was just two days ago sending me a presentation about an editathon he is having and I promised him to present it here as well. It's about the uh, Frankfurt Book Fair, which is the biggest book fair in the world. And this year the guest country is Slovenia. And he's pla planning an a, um, online editathon about it. I will come to that later. Uh, first, uh, cultural ambassadors as a link between Wikimedia projects and the glam world. I don't have a presentation, I never do, but I'm going to show you some wiki pages. Um, in 2018, in September, um, out of nowhere, the German Wikimedia the Wikipedia community was invited to the city of Kassel uh, by UNESCO, which was quite a nice surprise. You know, UNESCO is um, defining world heritage. Um, and uh, the idea was that they, together with the chapter Wikimedia Germany, teach Wikipedians how to work together with them how UNESCO works and uh, yeah, what it means to uh, publicize UNESCO content. So we were meeting in, um, in, in Kassel um, some people showed interest we had a program where um, we had a presentation by UNESCO about uh, the organization. Uh, then somebody gave a presentation um, from was was a museum curator how culture institutes are actually thinking and working. Then a presentation about formats uh, and instruments for glam co corporations. Uh, and a presentation by a lawyer about all the intrications of uh, free licenses. What licenses mean in different countries and uh, when is it free and when not. And that was nice and in the end the people that attended uh, got a qualification. For instance, everybody got a card which says Wikipedia Kulturbotschafters, which is Wikipedia Cultural Ambassador and it's endorsed by UNESCO and the German government and Wikimedia Germany and the uh, International Museum Institution and so forth. So uh, this card for me made it much easier to get in contact, uh, let's say, for first talks to museum, galleries and libraries. They say, who are you? Uh, we don't know you. And then you say, yeah, okay, but uh, I... Uh, Let's say I have an, uh, I'm, I'm officially delegated by UNESCO, for instance. Uh, that's a really big door opener. Um, okay, but uh, in the end, that, that was not enough to make useful collaborations uh, if you only make it once. Um, so, in 2021, a new program started. Um, Cannot see it, okay. Um. No, the just yes. Okay, it'll come back. Uh, that's called uh, Kulturbotschafter, cultural ambassador. Um, so, Wikimedia Germany thought we'll have some Wikipedians that we really qualify to be very knowledgeable about how cultural institutions work 
and how they can oversee and start projects. Um, because, I mean, in a community, you have, uh, let's say, one member who wants to start a project with the small museum in its town, with the state library, or with the national archives, or whatever. But uh, if you want to do such a big project, you need skills in lots of different fields. You need to know how to organize an event, how to invite people, logistics of an event. You have to know about the licenses. You have to know about uploading. You have to know about uh, then reporting all your findings and making statistics about that. And uh, you probably won't have the time uh, to do it all on your own. You need to build a community yourself and so forth. And all the skills, um, it would be nice if some members of your community had all the skills so that he can be a link between all the projects that are happening and the institutions and uh, Wikimedia Germany, who's most of the time giving money for that. Uh, okay, you can see that again. So this was uh, this project. And uh, so these cultural ambassadors, um, what they are, uh, they are part of the community, they know the community, they know the projects, they might be knowledgeable in one or more communities, which means maybe they don't only know Wikipedia, with Wikidata and Commons and Wikiversity and so forth. They're willing to commit themselves for longer periods even. They're open to new challenges. They're willing to learn. And they're willing to learn new techniques, legal backgrounds, inner workings, working mechanisms of institutions, networks and associations of institutions. And they have the backing of the community and the chapter or user group. Um, so what Wikimedia Germany did was uh, they, they made a, a process of uh, qualification. They were inviting people for uh, weekends where we, let's say in one weekend we were inviting the head of all archives in Germany plus the uh, director of the of a university library, uh, plus, uh, plus the director of the German Museum Association. And they were giving us talks about how they work and how work working with them uh, could be. So the Wikipedians that attended were then very qualified in that. And that Wikimedia did regularly. And uh, they then had a committee which decided of all the applications who would become a cultural ambassador. And the ones that were chosen, now they meet once a month on, uh, online uh, to discuss their projects, that they can uh, meet each other for <coughs> answering questions. Unfortunately, it's on Zulip. I hate Zulip, but uh, whatever platform works. Um, so to introduce these people. No, that's other way around. Uh, they then have a page where they can introduce themselves and, and their specialities. Uh, so people that want to do some cultural projects, can really contact these people all the time um, and they will help. There's one guy here, that's me, okay. Um, so I'm there as well. Um, yeah, and one guy for Switzerland as well. I think nobody for Austria yet. Maybe they have, they've got their own cultural program, I don't know. Um, yeah, and uh, that's, a, that's a program that uh, Wikimedia Germany started and I think um, it's something that possibly any chapter could do. Uh, really pick out some people in the community and really qualify them. 
I know, for instance, Wikimedia Serbia has the GLAM coordinator full-time, sometimes half-time, uh, now mainly full-time. Uh, the Czech chapter has some GLAM work. Uh, the Macedonian uh, GLAM user group is very active and so forth, so they're qualified. But uh, um, maybe the small chapters or medium-sized chapters don't have the time for that. And, but they have active members in their community. So it should, could be their task to really qualify these members to get them in contact with all the institutions and teach them about it, that they can be uh, the person that the, somebody in the community goes to. And that makes projects so much easier because uh, from the beginning you're not alone. You always know you have somebody in your background who will help you, um, no matter what, and who really knows uh, all the, if you have problems, who really knows how to solve these problems. Um, okay, so much about that. And actually, uh, this guy here um, that you see, uh, okay, you don't see, but it's uh, Jens Best from Frankfurt. Uh, he has a project um, now at the Frankfurt Book Fair. Every year now for, I don't know, 60 years or so, there's a, f uh, a big book fair in Frankfurt. It's the biggest in the world. Um, Every year it's a guest country. Um, I remember I was there a couple of years ago when the guest country was Georgia, Devolve. introducing Georgian literature, yes. Uh, a very nice thing about it, in the lower floor there was a stands an exhibition from all Georgian winemakers and brandy and uh, whiskey makers. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, we, we had a stand for Wikipedia at the book fair. Of course, when the stand closed, we would go down to the low level and you have to try it, you have to sample. But from every stand, if you sample, then it's ended always very nice. Um, no, but this year it's uh, Slovenia. It's the, let's say, host country, they call it, but it's in Frankfurt. Um, um, so all, let's say, published, uh, internationally published Slovenian authors, writers will be there. Uh, there will be speeches about uh, Slovenian culture, Slovenian literature especially. And uh, Wikipedia, uh, Jens Best thought for Wikipedia, what's nice to have? Okay, we're back. Um, so he, he sent me a little presentation about the plans he's having there. He's planning a bilingual editathon, which actually uh, is I think trilingual. Uh, Frankfurt Book Fair. Um, so um, I will read this to you because it's not my presentation, but he really insisted so much that I hold it here because it's CEE that I'll do it. Um, okay. Um, they, they were going to do an online version of an editathon for the honorary presenter Slovenia. They will have a pro project site on German Wikipedia and I think on, on Meta as well. They already have a hashtag uh, WPFMB23, Frankfurter Buchmesse 23. I think it's not up yet, uh, although the book fairs already in a couple of weeks. Uh, it's not a long time. Uh, what he's doing now is preparing lists uh, on Wikipedia and Wikidata of uh, Slovenian writers. There are lists of writers and other culture people from Slovenia that are visit visiting the book fair or being important past or contemporary writers. Uh, and in cooperation with the book fair there will be some events prepared. <coughs> um, and the timetable form of actions are presented, uh, writing and translation competitions, some online meetups uh, during the Frankfurt Book Fest are organized. Um, the big picture is to grow the articles about literature and writers, mainly in the German, English and, English and Slovenian Wikipedia. And, and uh <coughs> yes, so if you're interested in taking part, you can, uh, I think now he only has um, one page in German Wikipedia. 
where you could contact him. W P. Frankfurt book. What was F F P M? No.